he was Adam, he was uh he was uh Solomon, he was Isaac, okay, and his past lives, man. And he sinned as Adam and he sinned as Solomon. Okay? That's why when he came back, he had to die on the cross, man, and receive the judgment that the Lord had prophesied and told David that if he if he was to go off, he was gonna be bruised and whipped and chastised by the rod of man. Okay? But you people, you know, you don't know nothing, man. And you stupid ass niggas, you come up against me. Here it is, I'm being I'm doing my best to, to bring the word to you. You niggas got a problem, man. So you know what? Fuck you niggas, man. Okay? Just fuck you niggas. Alright? Yeah, let me just start at the let me start at verse uh Let me start at the top, okay? Cause we on this topic about the Lord, him dying for Israel. Alright, being an offering for sin for Israel. Alright. Isaiah 53 and 1. It says, who have believed our report? The precept says doctrine. Who have believed our doctrine, man? Okay. All right. You people say, oh, oh, it's just one person. He's teaching the word. He probably don't know what he's talking about. You know. All right. In Charlotte, you got 700 churches. All right. And, and a major uh, Catholic uh, set up place up there. And... We was the only ones teaching the truth up there in Charlotte, man. And people still came up against, oh, we're not going to listen to them guys, you know. We're not going to listen to him because he's just one person, you know. Against 700 strong, that's just churches, and you don't know how many pastors they got up in there. So it could be a couple hundred or a thousand pastors against one guy. You know, we're going to listen to the multitude because that's how Israel roll and that's how these heathens roll. They're a bunch of followers, man. Two-thirds of Israel conformed themselves to followers when they were set up to be leaders, okay? So nobody want to hear this word, which that's cool. That's awesome. I ain't sweating, okay? That's why Isaiah said, who have believed our report or who have believed our doctrine, okay? when we bring it out and we can bring it out precept upon precept to the T and you niggas still won't get it man but that's cool that's awesome man you know why because it wasn't given to you it's only given to the elect the remnant so Isaiah says in Isaiah 53 who have believed our report the precept says doctrine to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed What's the armor of the Lord? That's that's your house shot. Who you really call Jesus Christ, man? All right, that's who we were revealing. We make it known. That's what the word revelation means. A revealing of the truth. And the truth was only revealed to a select group of men. All right, that's Israelites. Number one, you got to be an Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American descent. Number one. Okay, that's first and foremost. And then even amongst Israel. It's a small remnant of men, 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe, all right, that was given a specific portion of the spirit, of the scriptures to understand and to come out here and preach the gospel, man. All right? Some brothers have more, others have not, not much. But whatever amount they have, they're supposed to push it, push it with all they have, man, for the glory of the Lord, okay? But Isaiah said, who have... Who have believed our doctrine, man? Who have believed our report? All right, and that's even more evident now because we got we in a time where people falling off, they turn into fables. All right, they becoming weak, they stop doing the work. So that that scripture is even more evident now than it was back then during the time of the Lord and the apostles and the disciples, man, that was sent out to preach the word. Okay, who have believed our doctrine? Okay, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Who is your house shall reveal to? He's only revealed to the elect, starting with the 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe of the nation of Israel. Those are men, not women. You women, okay, you going to be saved through the man, not on your own accord. So let's get that straight. You're going to be destroyed if you think that, okay? All right? Because the Lord is reestablishing all things, man.
Okay? Alright? It says, For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He have no form or nor comeliness. And when he and when we saw him, excuse me, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we shall desire him. What is that going into? That's going into the approach that the Lord had teaching the word. When you read the scriptures about the Lord and his description, he was known as an austere man or a hard man. Okay? He's not that image that they portray in these movies as some soft, effeminate, uh, 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 real soft spoken person, man. The Lord was rough. He was a hard man. He was all serious, severely plain and, and simple in his approach, man. That's why you people reject us because we're being conformed to the image of the, of, of, of the Son. All right? And just how the Lord was rough and rude and he cut people speaking about the word calling his own people devils serpents vipers foxes uh, uh blind fools all right you know swine dogs wolves all right and other such things man and people didn't like that man they didn't like getting cursed out all the time man that's why when you read certain accounts in the gospels they wanted to put, in his hometown, they wanted to push him off the top of, of, of the city where it was set up on a hill in Galilee, man. Because he was cutting them with the word. Because the people got offended because he wasn't healing them, all right? And he wasn't healing them because they didn't have faith. So they got offended. And when he used the example of Elisha, all right, and Elijah, Okay, in the history, they got offended and they wanted to push him off the cliff head head forward. They wanted to kill him. Okay, it's the same when you read in John chapter 8 when he was teaching in the temple, all right, and he was telling the people, all right, if you believe on him, as the scriptures say, and you continue in his word and that doctrine, all right, then you are, you are uh, free. Okay, and you know the truth and you are free. They got offended. We've never been slaves. What is this guy talking about? Then when you further read out in the chapter, he called them devils. They picked up rocks and want to stone them. You can read that throughout all the Gospel of John, the multiple times where these niggas wanted to kill the Lord. And these were so-called Negroes. You Negroes, you West Indians, and you Haitians. You niggas was back there. Okay? And you Latino tribes, you ain't off the hook either because a lot of y'all got blood on your hands from slaughtering the prophets, especially when you read the history, all right? The way y'all was running through prophets back then in the history, that's why the Lord had to give Elijah and Elisha spiritual power, man. Because if, if it was your way, if none of the prophets had spiritual powers during the time of the kings of, of, of Israel, okay, you niggas would have wiped out all of them, straight up, man. That's how wicked you guys are, man. Okay, that's why a lot of you Latinos and Native Americans, you bugged out, you're not going to get this word, and you're going to die out here in these streets, man. Alright, so let me read that again. Isaiah 53 and 2. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He have no form nor comeliness. Okay, because why? The Lord was straightforward. He was straightforward in his approach, his speech, and even in his, his attire, man. They didn't want to receive him because he didn't look the part, you know? Just like today, y'all don't want to receive us because you have a problem with how we dress and how we speak. All right? And when we, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we shall desire him. Okay? It says, he is despised and rejected of men. Going back to what I said before, when you read the Gospels, the account of the Lord, he was strongly despised and rejected by Israel, even back then. Okay? And when you read during the time of the Passover, it wasn't even no more than 200 disciples that followed the Lord, man. At times, he had multitudes, multitudes upon him, following him while he was teaching this word healing people but when he knew that these these niggas weren't right he started going over their head with the parables and 
and the uh, the dark sayings he was saying they couldn't get it.